Anyway, today I got uh some more news and or quote, whatever you want to call it, a story about a particular person by the name of Nathan Brown. So Nathan Brown, as you guys remember, me and my friend Ghost were having He was over here saying that he's gonna uh come to our respective states and kill us. Which I already knew he was bluffing. He told me that he was part of the blood gang. Which I called bullshit on that. That's home uh bloods are based in LA with the Crips. They are local to LA. I don't think they're local to anywhere else in the world. He's telling me that someone I care about was with him, which I knew was a lie. Basically saying that you will be coming for me, he's gonna kill me, and which I respond with your brother was never really in the Canadian armed forces. Which is true, he wasn't because I had uh, had a friend up there. I say had because I mean he's still my friend, I just don't talk to him as much. Who Nathan's brother had quote unquote claimed the unit that he claimed he was in, which I basically had I basically had asked him. He said he was not in that unit. No one by that name ever was. Which then I realized he was lying about that. And Calm Mountain's bullshit, he didn't like that. What the fuck is this? It's gotta be close. But anyway. After that, we didn't really hear much of him. I reported the message because he was using, uh, he was basically using explosives, which, in case you guys don't know, that's not allowed on PlayStation. Um, I also reported the. I reported one message from him, and PlayStation actually got his account banned for, I think, seven days, from my herd. Last night, I was just casually chilling my own business, relaxing. And I get a call. I'm not going to disclose who the guy's name was. But he's a good friend of mine. I'm not disclose the person's name who asked me to make this video. I'm going to leave their name confidential. But they, uh, I will release their genders, but I'm not going to say any names. She wanted me to. I don't know. Anyway, she had asked me, or she had asked him to ask me to make the video. I asked for the information, he handed me the information, which is what I'm telling you guys right now. So, as I was minding my own business, uh, just casually 
watching Mythbusters because I was bored and want to watch a TV show. I I got a call, paused my show, answered a call. It was a friend of mine that I'm real good friends with who lives over in a different part of the states. Answered it, said hello. He said make it. He said uh, we need you to make a video. When he said we, I immediately knew who is you uh who the we part was. He him and another person need me to make the video. So I told him I would and basically we'll go from there. I told him to send over the information of what he did and everything, which he sent. He sent I'm surprised this I'm surprised this uh, dipshit's not in fucking jail. And I'll tell you the reason why I say that. Where and the, there it is. Nathan Brown, from what I heard, is 30 years old. Not the part why he needs to be in jail. I'm getting to that in a second. What Nathan Brown likes to do... Actually, let me, phrase, let me backtrack for a second. Nathan Brown, 30 years old, from Hamilton, Canada. He was also brothers with none other than Carter. Garvey. Or Gavey. I, I can't remember his last name. I think it's Garvey. Dude's a piece of shit for one, because he likes to harass people who his brother has beef with. Because his, apparently, from my best guess, his brother can't defend himself. So his brother has other people step in for him. And I look at my phone. Shh, don't look at my phone as I'm riding a horse or driving a horse, whichever one comes first. I think it's right. But Carter and Nathan base. Carter's basically been a thorn in my side with his amount of times he's lied. Nathan's basically been a thorn in my side since he wanted to threaten me. Nathan's over there assaulting this uh, this person's girlfriend. My friend's girlfriend. Uh, from what I heard, I think he said that uh, he was making sexual remark. I think he hit her on the ass, I think, a couple times. Which she felt very uncomfortable. I don't take too kindly about guys and girls. Whoa! Hey! I'm not looking for trouble, okay? But, um, you seem alright. Got a few minutes? Um. Some money? Listen, I'm digging for valuables. Don't judge me. They dead. From what I've heard? I'm alive and I'm hungry. You help This me piece of shit needs to be in jail for what I'm about to describe next. Dude is 30. From what I heard, he I think believe he's good. Well, get digging then. Uh anyway. Get to digging. This dude, I believe the kid I think was Okay, try the next three or somewhere. And not three or four. I believe it, the first it was 13 or 14 at the time. So underage with person for one. For two, not cause Hamilton police won't do shit about it. But 
Dude is a child predator for one. He's a... Ow. Like, dude's a child predator for one. He just goes after kids. He likes to... harass girls. On. Dead. Anyway, likes to assault women from what I heard, likes to hit on them. And I don't know if Nathan watches my videos, but if you do, Nathan, I better not hear that you hit on a girl one more time. They don't take too kindly about guys hitting girls, and I will personally make sure that I make, like, I'll personally make sure that you go to jail. How? I'll find a way. Several Canadian buddies who owe me a favor for one. So I'm actually in very high places. So, quit hanging on women, Nathan. Quit sleeping with underage kids. Don't know how your ass isn't even fucking jail for one. Because if I tried that here in America, oh, my ass be thrown in jail in a heartbeat. But apparently it's okay of Canada to get away with it. Like, probably 89% of the time. My words is being retarded. Um. Jesus Christ, come on. But yet. Yeah. Nathan? Fucking stop. I know I don't have any authority in your town. But mark my words. I have ways of making sure you stop. I know your family ain't gonna do shit because your family's just gonna bail your ass out. So add that to the list of what Nathan likes to do. He likes to threaten people, not even upload his word on that thread. Go after kids, not even go to jail for it. Assault women, again, not even go to jail for it. No offense to Ganda, but Ganda, you need to get your shit together because... That is fucked up. You guys know it, and you guys still don't want to do shit. And I'm not saying everyone in Canada's bad. But I can tell you right now, the police department ain't gonna do shit. And that's the first target that... Like, that's not, it's not even a target. Like, most people's gonna call the cops if something like that happens. But from what I heard about the Canadian police department, they're not gonna do shit about it, so... That's gonna do for this video for... At least right now, until I get... More of what's going on, then I'll update you guys... As well, when I find out more. That's gonna do for this video, guys. Probably make a... Red Dead Redemption shenanigans video. Uh, that or I might just make a Fox 86 shenanigans. But that's good to do for this video, guys. I'll talk to you guys in the next video. Peace.